In the radio years, you did regular parts. You were on a show as a regular, as they called it. Hi, Miss Brooks. Hi, Mr. Boynton. Well, hello, Harriet. Mr. Boynton, Daddy wants to see you in his office right away. Something about signing a requisition for some test tubes you wanted. Oh, thank you, Harriet. And, Miss Brooks, your landlady called, and she wants you to call back when you can. Now, let's see. Is there someone I've forgotten? Better look under the table to make sure. <laughs> Did Mrs. Davis say what she wanted me to call her about? No, but she said she'd keep a receiver off the hook so a line would be open when you call. <laughs> There's something wrong with that, but offhand, I don't know just what. You worked with the same people a lot, and so it became this wonderful family kind of feeling. Radio, you just rely so much on the other actors. There's a, a, a real team kind of feeling. And, you know, you blow a line, somebody heaven help you they hope we hope they get you out of it you know well i'd better get up to mr conklin's office and get that requisition signed oh well, see you later miss brooks i'll walk to the phone with you miss brooks all right harriet well how has santa been treating you so far dear oh not too badly walter gave me a slave bracelet but i don't think i'll wear it why not you should see what he had engraved on it finder please return this girl to walter denton <laughs> well, I think that's cute, Harriet If a certain party gave me one of those bracelets I think I might enjoy getting lost <laughs> Gloria McMillan, tell us what's so special about reps These radio shows are absolutely the most fun thing Ron and I do We do live radio theater I thought, I can't believe that That's too good to be true 